Hello. The first part of that video would be on breathing and a short meditation. We will try to put our hands on our belly or on chest, whichever feels more comfortable. You will realize which might feel more tight. For me right now it's here on the diaphragm. So I will put my hand on the diaphragm. Yeah, that sounds about right. So let's breathe a little deeply. Be alert about your sensation and your thoughts. Think if you want to put some thoughts on hold or if you want to get them in your mind for a moment. This will help you calm to act properly a little bit more properly. Notice how I inhale with my nose and exhale with my mouth. If you want to do it otherly, other way, please feel free to do so. This little meditation, this little breath, little breathing, is just to help your body oxygenate, let your body calm, let your body unplug for a moment. It doesn't have to be much longer than this, but it can be longer than that if you have more time. If you do, pause and proceed for a longer period. Maybe put a timer on your phone. When you're done, you can unpause and we'll go to the movement video part. So here I lay down, I'll put that bolster here for behind my knees so that we can work a little bit on the lower back and the upper spine. We'll do some gentle resting movement and sitting movement to create a little challenge and comfort, see where Maybe it feels a little painful, a little sticky, and really bring emotion where it's left unmoved. I start laying down. And here, I will bring my knees on the bolster and gently bring my hands on the side. I'll push my elbows down and then rotate my head side to side. It doesn't have to be too much. You want to challenge and comfort. And you can bring your hands toward the ceiling, try to get a rotation, and do the same thing. Push your shoulder on the table and move your head. When I do that, I'm slightly off the table with my head, just enough so that I can move, but not too much so that my head gently doesn't wait as much because it's slightly on the table. I'm gonna rest. For me, that's enough right now. If you feel like more, go for it. You can pose and proceed. And when you're done, let's unpose and work on that lower back. Here, a movement I really like to do is to bring my knees to my chest and just simply use my hands to push, allowing the spine and the lower back to lubricate and move. I can activate my abdominals in a little bit as well. As if I could do it without my hands. But I don't wanna to work too hard, it's just to move my body, not to work out. Now, another one of my favorite movements to go side to side. So here, I will keep my feet off the table, but you're more than welcome to put them down or to cross them. And keeping my elbows on the, sh uh, on the table, 
I will move side to side. I will start very gentle and conservative at first, but eventually I will increase it. Still being mindful of my breath. Here I'm gonna increase a little bit and go further and hold. There. It doesn't take longer than that to create a little bit of change in the day. The breathing will help me calm down. The movement will help me feel a little more awake, a little less stiff, a little less painful. I feel personally better. My mid back was a little stiff because of lately. So on and all right now, I feel pretty good. I will leave you with a thought and that will be the thought for today. Whenever your life happens, it happens and it's unpredictable and you cannot really change what happens to you, but you can change how you react to it. And sometimes that is enough to give you a little bit of pose to react in a better or more proper way. So consider that thought for today. It's very much of a stoic thought. When you're done with this, resume with your day. If you want more, feel free to get a little further by yourself. Talk to you soon.